Institutional investors are purchasing fewer new residential properties and foreclosure inventory hits a new post-crisis low. Coming up on this weekend's News Wrap. Realty Track released its residential and foreclosure sales report for January, revealing institutional investors made up 5.2% of all residential property sales in January. Investor sales are down 7.9% in December and down 8.2% yearly. The January numbers represent a 22-month low. Short sales and foreclosure-related sales combined for 17.5% of all U.S. residential shares in January, according to the company's report. Many metros experienced large drops in investor purchasing, including Memphis, Tennessee, Tucson, Arizona, and Tampa, Florida. Counter to the national trend, 23 of the 101 metros analyzed in the report posted year-over-year -year gains in institutional investor share. Austin, Texas grew the largest with 162 percent. Cincinnati, Ohio was next with an 83 percent increase, Dallas, Texas rose 30 percent, and Denver, Colorado climbed 21 percent. Black Knight Financial Services issued their first look report of January mortgage performance data. Foreclosure inventory has hit a new post-crisis low of 2.35 percent, the lowest since November 2008. The percentage of loans 90 days or more past due in foreclosure is 4.92 percent, the lowest in over five years. Approximately 3.14 million properties were past due on mortgage payments of 30 days or more, and 1.2 million properties were delinquent for more than 90 days. You can find more on these stories and all your latest industry headlines right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Monday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.